we have won six CIF championships total, and we are we have won four in a row, and we are on our drive for five right now. We're we're trying to go after the fifth one in a row. Definitely have a target on our chest. Uh, I know everyone in uh, our division and our league they're aiming to get us. The kids that are returning are going to be excellent football players and they just, just happen to be unknowns right now to everybody else. I've got uh, guys like Brett Bartoloni who has been a running back his whole life and just so happened when he came to La Habra High there was a Josh Casada in the backfield so we moved him to our slot receiver. Uh, he probably will play some running back. We're extremely blessed to have Aaron Porter who's a UCLA commit and he's every bit of 6'1", 230 pounds and he just happens to run like a running back. And so he's going to carry the ball some. Uh, we had a kid named Alex Ibarra that played for us last year, who's been an ex excellent running back his entire life, up through you know Pop Warner freshman year here at La Habra High. We are still in a quarterback battle, so to speak. Uh, I have two young men that are kind of at the top, and we've got uh, a senior named Cole Alterman, and he he's the prototypical quarterback body. He's 6'3", 195 pounds. He does run well. Um, he was our quarterback as a freshman and a sophomore. We moved him to safety last year. And we have a junior named Sean Sparling, younger brother of Michael Sparling. And Sean's, you know, Sean's a uh, six foot, 170 pound quarterback. Um, who was our quarterback again his freshman year and sophomore year. And then we have a kid named Michael Martinez, who's 6'1", 170, 175 pounds, who uh, again was a freshman and JV quarterback as well. So with those three guys, I mean, we have a pretty good competition going on. I've been very fortunate to have a lot of good kids over the years, kids that uh, work really hard, uh, they accept all the challenges we put in front of them. We put in the hard work, we've been uh, working in that weight room since February, and uh, we're just uh, so blessed to have uh, coaches that you know push us to the limits and uh, they're, they're the greatest coaches around. It's always great to you know prove ourselves against the, the tougher teams. You know, because I, I think they might look down on us a little bit. But, uh, you know, if we come up uh, with a win against the Trinity League teams, I think that would be big. I always have to go back sometimes in my own experience as a player. You know, which, what, were, what were the funnest games? You know, they were the big ones. You know, and I, my memories are great, win or lose those big games, because maybe it was the atmosphere, maybe it was the opponent, the respect you had for the guys on the other side of the field. Uh, it makes it all the big picture. It makes it really... Uh, Enjoy it makes the season meaningful. Santa Margarita Catholic High School is a respected football institution. And what I'd like to do this year is uh, continue to build on what last year's team uh, brought to this community and to Southern California football. I think we have the toughest schedule of any team in California. The first team that we open up with was a Pac-5 CIF playoff team in Long Beach, Jordan. In the second game of the year, we played Tesoro High School, which last year was one of the most exciting games I've ever been in. It was such a great community affair. The entire South Orange County community was a buzz about it. We played Carson High School. Carson High School played for the CIF LA City section championship in the Los Angeles Coliseum last year. And then that leads us to playing in the Trinity League. The Trinity League in my more than four decades experience is the finest league in America. And this year, I think it will have the greatest depth of any league I have ever heard of. Not just this year, but any time. It will be an amazing challenge for us to take a group of inexperienced and very young men and play this formidable schedule. Nevertheless, this is a great group of young men. On defense, uh, Matt Anderson is our lone returning starter. He has lifted the level of excellence for all of the defensive players. We do have a, a young offensive line. Three of the five um, starters on our offensive line are underclassmen. 
the two seniors, Max Turk and Cole Luther, both started last year and have provided great leadership. We are, on average, about 6'3", about 301 pounds. So it's a good size line. They're well coached by the finest line coach in America at any level, that's Coach Marty Spaulding. Um, he works them very, very well. He works their mind. He works them emotionally. He works them physically. Very challenging coach, but incredibly knowledgeable. And this will be his last year coaching, and I am so honored uh, to have him on my staff. I found that the intensity of being a football coach and being involved with young men to hopefully help them become better citizens, better human beings, better fathers, friends, brothers, husbands, and use football to that end.